Welcome to Jim's Kitchen. I'm Jim. I'm an experienced cook. I've cooked every day for a few years, at least once a day. In the summertime now, in the summer we make burgers. Today I'm going to show you how to make the world's best burger. What do we need for that? Well, of course we need burgers. You can get these from any store. You're also going to need some tomatoes to put on your burger. Lettuce. You like to put mayo on your burger. Pickles, of course. Mustard. We've got a few different types of mayo. Smoky bacon, roasted garlic, horseradish. That's four kinds of mayo. Relish, of course. We're gonna need some mustard. We've got some old fashioned deja mustard. Oh, can't forget this. My brother got me some of this. Old fashioned Eagle Hoffer mustard. You don't want that on your burger. That's three kinds of mustard. Oh, of course, ketchup. You don't want to forget about that. Some people like that. I don't like that. That's probably good. Let's cut up a few garnishes. People don't really like their lettuce cut up on their burger. They they want large single pieces. Quarters here. I don't know how many burgers we're making today. Maybe maybe about four. Tomatoes. You don't want to slice your tomatoes into thin, large slices, just like the lettuce. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is to cut off the end just like this. And it will stay on the, on the table very evenly. And then you want to just cut yourself some slices. It's very simple. Beautiful. It's perfect, perfect hamburger sliced tomatoes. Get some pickles. Everybody likes pickles on their hot dogs. Thin slices again. Okay, so we got some thin pickles, we got some thin tomatoes, and we got some lettuce. So let's get a couple big decorative plates. Peanut oil. And I also like to add a little bit of canola oil. Some salt. Pepper, a lot of peppers on there, box salt, put that all in there. Get some of this Italiano, not too much. A little bit of basil, a little bit of cumin. The last thing I like to do is put a little bit of garlic in there. All you need to do now is yourself some kind of mixing device and it's a pretty good mix. Let's mix this up. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this onto each burger. This is a little bit of tasty oil. It's going to make it taste, quite frankly, amazing. Alright, so that's ready to come with us. I don't normally cook on a heat press. That is your standard heat source. But in the summer, you got a barbecue. If you don't have a barbecue, you go get one right now. Pause the video, go buy yourself a barbecue, put it together, put the propane on it, come back. Hamburger bun. So we got four of them here. Four burgers. We need four buns. We're gonna need to get four burgers out of our bag here. Any remainder burgers you're gonna to want to put back into your freezer. So we got ourselves our four burgers. So we need to separate these burgers there. Use a knife if you want to make your life a bit easier. Perfect. Okay. One of the final things I like to put on is just this AW seasoning. I don't know if it's AW where you're from. It is a burger restaurant and they, you can buy this seasoning from their restaurant. It's not a commercial, uh, but I do really like AW seasoning. I put it on all my burgers, I put it on all my hot dogs, I put it on all my chicken, and I put it on all my meat. Last but certainly not the end of the cheese. We only have about 100 grams of it today. Make sure you bring down this. Let's go! Well, just before you do, hold on. Hey, Stan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 2 times one, right? 18. Rock salt, 19, pepper, 20. Hot, you had your hot pepper mix, right? 21. Something else was in there too, right? Mm -hmm. 22, the cumin, 23, Italiano, 24. Mm -hmm. 25 for the buns. 26 
for pickles, 27, 28, 29 ingredients. Better be good. Thanks, Dan. This is a 29 ingredient burger, plus there's also a brush. Put the propane on, turn all of your grills to max. Barbecue starter, make sure the lid is up. Close the grill, let them get up to all the way to 800 degrees. Once you've reached 800 degrees, like we have now, open it up. Barbecue brush, and you're going to scrape any of the cold food right off. That's the best time when you're done barbecuing. Don't clean up. Take it right out of here. Go and eat it. Make it nice and hot. Next time you barbecue, scrape off your oil. We're going to apply it to the top sides of our four burgers here. Hot iron. Okay, and we're gonna put this right over the flame. Which one? And then take the red remainder of your oil and just put it on the back side. It's gonna be really happy when you get this. A lot of flavor in this oil. It's gonna soak right into the burger. And it's probably gonna be the best burger that you've ever had. Skip that, get it all in there. Finally, if you're making hot dogs, they usually go with burgers, just throw them in the hot rack. Even going frozen, no one really cares about a hot dog. And we're just going to let these cook. Uh, just two minutes aside. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, one hundred twenty Mississippi. Open it up. So we got. This one that's over the biggest plane here, let's give that a turn. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's some big burgers. I'm going to give a little rotate to your dogs. This time you only want to close it for one minute. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, four, five, six, 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 I like my buns nice and toasty, so I'm going to put my hamburger buns right up here. It's really hot in here. Literally on fire. Oh. This is the time we want to put on our A&W sauce to make it taste just like an A&W root beer. Put that on. All sides. Whew. Down. Which is a dollop of cheese on each burger. Okay, close the lid. Any residual heat will help that cheese melt. Once the cheese is melted, your burgers are perfect. So let's have a look at our burgers here. Great, cheese is nice and melted. The buns are a little bit toasty. Perfect. And as far as our hot dogs are done, those are already cooked before we even started, so nobody cares. Okay, we have cheese on the top. I like to put them on the bottom. Oh. I leave the top off. Don't want to get the cheese melted on that. And then these hot dogs just cares. Okay, let's go back to the kitchen. Oh, and make sure you turn your propane off. I've left it on once before. So that's my eyebrows. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. Let's grab a plate for our burger. Just got a plain plate here. I'm going to show you the proper way to build a burger. 
take off the pan. We're going to use some yellow mustard. We're going to put it to the bottom of the pan. We're going to take some garlic mayonnaise and we'll put it on the bottom of the pan. Finally, we're going to take some pickles and put it on the bottom of the pan. This is your base. Put the burger back on. Top of the burger, we want to add our tomatoes. Lettuce. You grab your bun. On the top of your bun, you're going to want to add some Dijon mustard. And you're going to want to add some of this smoky bacon mayo. If you don't have bacon, if you're not enough money to buy bacon, you can just add it in mayo form. And just uh, put the lid on. And there you go. Now, I like to cut my burgers in half. Some people really mad at me for this, but I think it makes a better burger experience because your first bite is right into that meaty part. Right there. It does not look amazing. So let's give it a try. This has been another episode of Jim's Kitchen. Today we made an amazing burger using some basic ingredients, hamburger patties, buns, a whole bunch of condiments, up to your discretion of course. Lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and we need a barbecue of course. And of course, the magic ingredients. Oh, mmm, it's like Ann W.